we are going to continue our lesson working with Microsoft Word part 2. In today's lesson we are going to study that how are we going to insert a text box, clip art, insert a picture from a file. And then we will learn about how to adjust a picture and how to insert shapes, borders and shadings. Okay. So our learning objectives for today are to use insert tab to insert a text box, clip art and a picture. Number two, to use the correct way to adjust a picture. Number three, to insert shapes, borders and shading. These are our three learning objectives for today. Before we start our lesson, let's do a recall. That what did we study in our last class? Yes, you are right. We studied about Microsoft Word ribbon. That what tabs we have on ribbon. We have a quick access toolbar, we have ribbon tab, we have ribbon, we have we, uh, zoom and we have our working area. Yes, on our ribbon tab we have file, we have home, we have insert, all those things. Then we also studied about quick access toolbar that how we can add and remove things in quick access toolbar and how we can um, relocate the position of quick access toolbar. Yes, how can we bring it at the top of the ribbon and how can we bring it in, uh, below the ribbon. Next, uh, we studied about uh, how to insert word art. Yes, how to copy paste our text, how to cut and paste our text. Yes, uh, we learned about insert tab. Yes or no? So today we are going to study our some more things of Microsoft Word. So are we all ready? Okay. First of all, we are going to study about inserting a text box. If I need to insert a text box, how am I going to do it? A text box is an object that lets you write text anywhere in the document if i need to write anything in the document i'm going to insert a text box how am i going to get the text box number one click the insert tab then click on text box arrow click on simple text box arrow click inside the text box and type the text we are going to click on insert and then we are going to click on text box arrow the first one is our simple text box and click on that. Let me show you in my Microsoft Word. Now, this is our Microsoft Word. Yes, this is our quick access toolbar. This is our ribbon tab. This is our ribbon. This is our working area. And this is our zoom in and zoom out. Now, I want to uh, insert a text box. Click on insert. Now, you can see a word called text box. And we have a arrow also over here click on this arrow it will open for you that how you want your text box so just click on simple text box now it will open for you this I can start typing as it is or you can erase it this is a text I can make it big as we all know how to make it okay this is our Text. This is the way we will add our text. Again, I will tell you, click on insert text box arrow and then simple text box. Okay, this is the way we will enter our, insert our text box. Clear? Okay, let's go back to our PowerPoint. This is what I have just told you. Now, we can copy, delete and move and edit this text box any way we want in the document. Let me show you again. Now, this is our text box. When I'll click on this text box, now, you can see my text box is, the mouse button is now in four arrows. <coughs> Press this mouse button, I can drag it, I can take it anywhere I want. I can delete also. I can delete also. Okay, if I want to delete it, I can delete also. I can edit it also. If I need to write something else, I can write something else also. Clear? Okay, let's go back to our PowerPoint now. Next, insert clip art. You, you can add images to your document using the clip art feature. Microsoft Word has its own set of pictures in the clip art gallery. 
the pictures the pictures are organized into different categories now as you can see in this picture click on insert and there is a word called clip art but clip art on nowadays in microsoft word it's not coming anymore we don't have any more in nowadays uh, advanced word okay it's everything online pictures or from computers you can upload a picture there's nothing called clip art nowadays i'm just showing you over here that's why how you will add a clip art if you have old version of microsoft word maybe at home if you have old version in our school we have clip art option we can do that uh, click on insert and then click on clip art then how you will add a picture from clip art to add a clip art image after clicking on clip art it will open you this window to add a clip art image click on the insert tab clip art the clip art task panel appears on the right on the window this one in the search for text box type a word you want a picture for okay and then click on go various clips will come off your clip of what you want actually to be and then click the in clip you want to insert okay click the picture you want to insert and then click on go okay now that was how to insert a clip art now insert a picture from a file now if you already have a picture saved in your file how are you going to insert a picture images can also be inserted stored in a computer to insert a picture how i'm going to do it what are the steps let me tell you click the location in the document where you want to insert a picture always remember just select the place where you want your text box where you want your picture okay number two click insert tab then click on picture and then click on insert picture from file locate the picture locate the picture means find the picture in the window and double click it to insert the picture is inserted into the document this is the uh, picture of it but i will tell you how to insert it now let me show you in my powerpoint uh, in my word okay now insert now you can see here pictures when i'll click on this arrow it will ask me this device stock images or online pictures we can also uh, put pictures online now insert from this device let me see if i have any pictures in it mm -hmm. pictures yes i do have one flower now I want this picture double click or just click once and click on insert okay this picture is here now this is the way we'll insert our picture let me tell you again delete it go to insert tab pictures click on pictures insert picture from this device stock images or online picture how this device this one I want now let me tell you how to insert picture from online online picture it will open for you pictures online what picture you want and let me just type again flowers let me choose this one now you can see now this is our online picture now this is our online picture I have taught you two ways now let me tell you again this is my online picture now from device Choose this picture so I have two pictures now I have two pictures now okay I have two pictures now see this is from the Google this is from the internet actually and the online and this is what I have in my saved so I have taught you both ways now okay anyway let's go back to our PowerPoint now next adjusting your picture now once you have your picture once you have inserted your picture you can adjust your picture how number one double click the picture to select it click the format tab in the menu bar you can improve the quality using the options in the adjust group like corrections color artistic effect giving styles to the picture removing the background giving border to the picture giving visual effects to the picture 
cropping the picture, positioning the picture. These things we can do with our picture. We, these things we can do to adjust our picture. I will show you each and everything one by one. Okay, let's start. I'm going to my word now. Now, these are our two pictures. I will just show you my changes done on one picture. Let me just delete one picture then, okay? So that it's easy for you to see what I'm going to do, okay? This is my picture. I'm just bringing it here for that you can see what am I doing. Now, this picture is here and this is quite, I'm making it big. Now, what are they saying? We can, what we can do our adjust picture to adjust our pictures, double click the picture to select it. It's here, I've clicked on this picture. You can see the picture format will come. If I'll click outside, it will go. If I'll click on the picture, it will come again. Now, here we have remove background, corrections, color, artistic effects, transparency, picture style, picture border, picture effects, picture layout, all these things and crop also. All these things we can do with our picture to adjust it. Let's start with corrections. Now, when I'll click on this corrections, it will open for me that, what do you want? Sharpen or soften? See, you can see when I'm taking my mouse to each and everything, what is happening to it? You can see, you can see the difference in the picture coming over here. Yes, this is the contrast and brightness. So it's up to you that how you want your picture to be adjusted. Okay, if you don't want anything, if you want it as it is, just leave it as it is. Then, next, color. Let me click on color. What color picture do you want? See, how you want, how you want your picture. You, it's up to you, it's up to you. If I click on this, see, it's dark now. Let's go back to our original one. We don't know one, we just need it simple. So just leave it simple. So we studied about corrections and colors. Let's see what artistic effects have. Artistic effects will have some features like like this. You can see it's like glassy. This is like mosaic bubbles. This is pastel smooth. Then we have uh, light screen. Many features we have pencil gray scale. So any it's up to you again what style you want. What effect you want. If you don't want any just leave it as it is. So corrections, color, artistic effects. These three things I have shown you now. Let's see what transparency have for us. Transparency means that how you need the picture, how transparent you need the picture. This is at now, this is this one. Then this one, 15% transparency, 30%, 50%, 65, and this is 100. 80, sorry, and this is 100. Okay, 95 and then 95 is 100 is same. So this is up to you again that do you need any transparency in our picture or no? If no, then just leave it. Then picture style. Let's click on this picture style now. If I click on this, what will happen? Did you see what happened? The border is made actually of this one. Now if I click on this one, what style I want for my picture? See, you can see all these styles. Just go through all these styles. You can see these are that how you want your picture style should be. Okay, these are the style. If you don't want any, just click any. We don't want any. Okay, if you don't need any, we will just click on none. Okay, this is we will do, uh, we will uh, add picture styles. So corrections, colors, artistic effects, transparency, and picture effects. Let's see what we have next. Next after this, we have picture border. If I need to add a picture border, click over here. Choose the color of the picture border you want. What picture border you, color you want? Choose that one. And again, click on picture border how you want it to be thin thick how you want it more lines let us click on more lines that's the uh, you will see how you want it again okay this is 
for the borders for the borders how you want the picture border should be then picture effects let's see what we have on picture effects ah that how you want your picture to be shadow reflection glow soft edge bevel 3d rotation now i like sometimes shadow let me see shadow they are asking outer shadow or inner shadow i need outer shadow let me just click on any of the you can see that there is some little shadow outside of this border see okay this is how we are going to add effects on it let me see this okay now reflection yes this is how we are going to add reflection if you don't need any you will just leave it as it is okay then picture layout that's uh, that how you need your picture to be see it is if you are going to write something about it it's already built in that how you need your picture to be okay clear this is how we are going to uh, give different looks to our picture corrections by color by adjusting artistic effects transparency adjusting our picture styles picture borders picture effects picture layout clear next next what we have we have crop let me teach you crop first click on this crop when i'll say crop it will open for me this that crop it crop means you can make it small you can make it big it's up to you crop it okay you will crop the picture as you like big or small this is how you are going to crop your picture clear class this is one of the other uh, adjustment of your picture clear next next come is the removing the background how are we going to remove the background click on the picture again F picture format is opened you can see the first thing is remove the background click on it now mark areas to keep mark areas to remove now as you can see it has already ma made for me the yellow flower to be kept and the purple screen it means it needs to be removed just remove the areas mark the area so it will be removed by itself hmm can you see the background anymore now no it's gone the background is gone background is gone remove background and then you can do it the background is gone okay this is the way we will remove the background clear class okay now i have removed the background next come is positioning our picture in the our document for example we want to take it anywhere down click on the picture click on this position choose where you want your picture to be choose here in the center you want it down it will go down you want it up it will come up you want left it will go left you want right it will go right it's up to you this is we are going to adjust our uh, picture our position our picture now in this uh, let me tell you one more feature of uh, cropping when we learned about cropping click again on crop now we learned about crop then we have crop to shape how are we going to make the picture cropped into a shape click on crop click on crop to shape choose the shape you want your picture to be cropped let me just show you yes again another shape this is up to us that how we need our picture to be cropped okay class you can see what i'm doing i'm playing with the shapes so that we can get an idea that how are we going to set this may i crop this picture into shape if you don't need any just leave it as it is halas but now also it has a shape from here okay this is the way we'll sh uh, crop the picture into shapes clear class how are we going to do it we can make it small also see you can make it big also it's up to us it's up to us okay 
so in this we studied how to remove the background how to do our corrections how to adjust the color artistic effects transparency we learned about picture styles how to add picture border picture effects page layout how to position into our document how to crop a picture and how to crop it into any shape clear class okay let's go back to our powerpoint now okay so we learned about all these things now okay inserting shapes how are we going to insert shapes microsoft word comes with a set of ready-made shapes you can use it in your documents these shapes can be filled with color resizes and rotated and flipped on the insert tab click on shapes double click the shape you want from the drop down menu a cross means plus sign will appear drag the cross to draw the shape to size you want the shape is then inserted okay next see i would now we are done with this picture don't look at this picture now or just I will see I will just delete this picture now okay insert shapes what shape you want for example let me click on this now you can see my mouse is changed into a cross sign press the mouse button drag it drag it how big you want how big you want just drag it how small you want just drag it it's up to you okay now, when you click leave the mouse button, it will open for you shop, uh, sorry, shape format. What, how you want your shape to be, shape style, shape fill. Do you want it to be shape fill? Which colored shapes uh, you want it to be filled? If you don't want any color, just click on no fill. Okay. Now, shape outline. What color shape outline you want? Getting me? Again, I will click on shape outline and I will increase the size of the outline. You're getting me I can also add I can also dashes you can see this it's up to me okay it's up to me then shape effect how I need my shape effect to be you can see that there is a shadow now outside little bit of shadow it's up to me this is the way we will add our shapes clear once again click on insert shapes Choose the shape you want. Okay, drag it. Then shape fill. Do you want any shape fill? Up to us. Shape outline? Up to us. Which what we know we need dashes or what? It's up to us. Okay, it's totally up to us. But we should know how to add it, how to insert all those things. Clear class? Okay, let's go back to our PowerPoint now. borders and shading borders and shadings make your document look interesting and attractive the page layout tab lets you add a border to a page document a page in a document or choose a background color for the page page border click page layout page background group page borders the borders and shading windows open up click one of the border options under the settings to choose an artistic border such as stars select an option in the art menu let me show you this if i need to add borders to my page now in our book it says click on page layout page layout it was our previous version of microsoft word in nowadays version we have our borders in design when i click on design the last three things page background watermark page color page borders so click on page borders if you cannot find page borders in page layout you can see on design it will open for me this borders page borders and shadings okay i will choose what design i want of my let me just choose this one and color also if you want the color background or what let me just choose and you can see that the line has been made the border has been made but let me show you some different thing now again design page borders I want some artistic borders click on this art you can see over here pictures okay 
Now you can see that my border is in the form of stars. Okay, this is the way we will add borders. Click on design or page layout in some computers. Then let's see shading. Shading, what color you need? Let me just do this one. It will be in the inner side, huh? Why it's only up? Because I chose only the paragraph. Where is it? Let me see. Because right now we don't have anything written. So that's why it's showing us only this. Is this thing clear how to add a border and shadings? Okay. Next. Page color. We can also change the page color of this. Same. Going to the design or page layout. Page color. What page color design you? What page color you want? It's up to us. It's up to. Totally up to us. Okay class. This is the way we will add page colors. Clear? Then watermark. Watermark is when you make any document and you want that your watermark should be there at the back, like confidential or something. You can add it or you do not add, do not copy. See, you can see confidential. Okay, you can see that there is the word watermark confidential. This is the watermark. So these things we have learned in Microsoft Word, extra things, some advanced things. Okay, let's go back to PowerPoint now. Page color, I have taught you now. So, class, after you watch my PowerPoint and video, please go to Class Sarah online assignment and solve questions over there I have created for you. And please class, try to do these things in your home on your computer so that you get an idea the more you will practice the more idea you will get that what miss samiha has taught us and if you have any doubt in your mind please feel free to ask me okay thank you